Let's talk about some social media, shall we? Hello and welcome to my channel, The Danish Readaholic. Today I will be doing the social media book tag. So I think without further ado, we should just get started. So first up, we have Twitter and that is your favorite short book. So a book under 200 pages. So if I remove the author note and the glossary of this one, I can use My Name is Parvana by Deborah Ellis. Oh my God, I love this book. This is a book following a girl in Afghanistan during the war. Like, it's post-Taliban Afghanistan, basically. And it says, American soldiers have just imprisoned a teenage girl, but who is she? Why was she found wandering alone in a bombed out school? Could she be a terrorist? This is the final book, actually, in the Parvana Quartet, but it could also be read as a standalone since a lot of the stuff that you need to know about the previous books will be explained in this book. Obviously, I recommend reading the entire series, but this one is my all-time favorite. So good, so amazing. This is definitely one of my all-time favorite books and one that I don't talk about nearly enough. Next up we have Facebook and that is a book that everyone pressured you to read. I wouldn't necessarily say that everyone pressured me to read, but my FOMO was kicking in <laughs> when it comes to this book. I definitely feel like I was missing out on the story because everyone, and especially on TikTok, was just raving about this book and this author, and I just wanted to be a part of it. I can see the hype, but it's not one of my favorites at all. I'm glad I read it. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> then we have Tumblr, which is a book you read before it was cool. That rarely happens to me, so I don't know. But I have one that I feel like I can argue I read before it was cool. These Violent Delights. So I read this, I think, in January 2021. Throughout 2021, this became more and more popular on TikTok. So I feel like I could argue that I read this before it was cool, well, cool, before it was popular on TikTok. So I am gonna go for this, I don't know. This is also one of my all-time favorites and I am gonna reread it this year because I wanna read this before reading the sequel, so I'm gonna read them back to back, hopefully. <laughs> Next up, we have MySpace, and that is a book you liked when you were younger, but probably wouldn't like today. And I went for Struck by Lightning by Chris Colfer, the Carson Phillips journal. Contemporaries in general, basically, but I didn't really have a contemporary that I read when I was younger that I could use, so I just went for this one. I'm not sure I would like this today, but it's Chris Colfer, so I'm not gonna get rid of the book. And that is why I still have it, but I did like it back then. But yeah, I am gonna go for this because I remember liking it a lot when I was younger. Next up we have Instagram and that is a book that has the most beautiful cover in existence. I didn't know what to pick. I really didn't know what to pick. So I ended up going for Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim simply because I love the style of this and I am just in love with pastels. I work with pastels every single day with the brand that I work for and Oh, I just love looking at this. It is just so goddamn stunning and I am I am here for it all the way. <laughs> Next up we have YouTube and that is a book you wish would be turned into a movie. I am just quickly going to say that I have two for this, but both books are also for the next prompt. So I'm going to talk about one book for now and the next book or the other book for the next prompt, but just know that both books fit both prompts. The Prison Healer. I would really, really want to see this turn into a movie. I want to see it. I want to see the trials. I want to see Kiva. I want to see the characters. I want to see the, like, the prison. I, I just want to see it. I want to see all of it. Just give it to me, please. Give it to me, please. I would also accept a TV show, just, you know, just putting it out there. So, uh, yeah. And finally, we have Goodreads, a book you would recommend to anyone. This. <laughs> just briefly want to mention this one in the context of the movie. I want to see The Prison Isle. I want to see the... the oh, pff, I just want to see it. I can't put it into words, but I feel like it would just have such great content for a TV show or a movie, so yes. But also this one and The Prison Healer, I would recommend it to just about anyone. I loved it, both of them, so. And that was actually it for the tag. I am uh, not gonna tag anyone, I think. 
No, I'm not going to tag anybody. I'm not going to tag anybody. If you want to do this, consider yourself tagged. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment telling me which book you would like to see turn into a TV show or a movie. I would really like to know. If you just want to let me know that you're here but don't know what to comment, you can always leave a green heart. If you like this video, please hit the like icon, and if you want to see more of my bookish content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And until I see you next time, bye!